If you want to be able to listen to music or watch videos, then down here pinned to the taskbar is the Windows Media Player. This is version 12. That's new to Windows 7. Version 11 was in the previous Windows operating system, Vista. Go ahead and click on it. It opens up. Over to the left-hand side, you've got your music folder, videos, pictures. Click on videos. we got a couple here. If you want to go ahead and watch one, you can either click on it and come down here and click on play or just double click. It opens up and notice how it doesn't fit the whole screen. If you want it to fit the whole screen, you can either come down here and click on the full screen button and you can see it. And then you can click on it to restore it or just find a blank area somewhere in the video and double click to maximize it. Double click to restore it down. And then when you're done or if you want to pause it, click pause and click play or go ahead and either close out or when it's done, it'll actually give you more options to play it again or to go to the library. And notice that this icon here is the same in the upper right hand corner. Switch to library. When you click on it, it takes us back to where we first started. Then we can look at pictures. Here's a nice one. Click on that. Come down here and click play or just double click on it. Ooh, that's pretty. Then double click on the center to maximize it. Double click on it to restore it back down again. And then when you're done flipping through all the pictures, you can click on pause to pause it or stop it and then resume it or come up here and click on to switch back to go to the Windows Media Player library. And then notice in the lower right hand corner, you see where it says switch to now playing. If you want to see what's playing now, click on it. You can go ahead and click resume to where you last left. Ooh, pictures. Or come back up here and switch back. Notice in the upper right hand corner in the other window to where it's now playing. If you want to switch, click on it. In this window, click on that. So look in the upper right hand or lower right hand corners to be able to switch back and forth in between your library and what's actually playing. Now if you want to be able to play something that's on your computer, you can do it one of two ways. You can either come up here and let me minimize that down to the taskbar. Come in here and double click, open up the exercises folder and there's my Kung Fu Fighting song. I can either double click on that and by default it should open up the Windows Media Player. Now I say by default, but when you open up Windows Media Player for the first time, it'll ask you a bunch of questions, you give it answers, and if you say go ahead and open up and default all the files of music and videos to play in Windows Media Player, then basically any music file you open up should play in Windows Media Player, okay? So come up here, double click on it. It opens up Windows Media Player. Is it playing right now? Well it is, you just can't hear it. You can see right here Kung Fu Fighting. If I want to see it playing in the now playing and not in the library, because right now it's in the library. And there it is, Kung Fu Fighting. I can come down here and click on Switch to Now Playing, and uh, isn't he cute? So it's playing right now. Of course, I can go ahead and pause it. I can come up here and right click and say, go ahead and repeat this because, boy, I just love the song and I want to hear it over and over and over again. Or right click in a blank area and just say, shuffle if you're playing a bunch of songs. I'm not going to repeat it here, so I'll uncheck it. Now the difference between this Windows Media Player and earlier versions of it is that you could come down here on the taskbar and right click and in the toolbars bring up the Windows Media Player toolbar but it's not available as you can see here and the reason why you may want to do that is because when you minimize it in previous versions of Windows it gave you the little buttons here that you could skip a song or move ahead to a song while you're working on your work. Well it doesn't do it right here. Well it does but you have to hover over the button here of the program that's opened and then you get your options to click next or go to the previous song or to pause it, okay? So you have to take that extra second to hover to be able to play or pause. And then if I want it back, then I can just click on it and it restores it. One thing that I find about the Windows Media Player 12 is that even though I don't get my little buttons down here right on the actual button to skip to new songs or to go back, if you just leave it open here like a little gadget, and I just click and drag that move that out of the way, I can just come up here and click on it to skip or to move back or to pause it. So think of it like a gadget. Otherwise, the word that's going out on the street is that if you don't like this and you'd rather have it when you minimize it down here to the taskbar, the actual skip ahead buttons on the actual player button, then you'd have to go back to Windows Media Player 11, uninstall this, but eh, it's too much work. I like it like this, either as a gadget, it looks like a gadget here, where I can hover over and skip ahead, or just minimize it and be sure to hover over it to be able to get those buttons to skip back and forth, okay? And then finally, let me click on it to restore it again. Come up here and click on Switch to Library or Maximize it. And then come over here and click on Switch to Library. I can come up here up on the top in a blank area and right click and go down to File to get a menu to get my viewing options to play. 
whether I want to go ahead and shuffle or repeat the songs or the videos, other tools, or the help menu. Now don't forget, you can come over here on the command bar, click on Organize, and go down to Layout and say that I do want to show the menu bar. Then it opens up here on the top so you don't have to right click in a blank area just above the command bar and get the same menu, File View. You got it up here, File View, okay? Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.